Dear seekers of knowledge, join me on an immersive expedition through the corridors of time as we unveil the expansive and awe-inspiring tale of the House of Wisdom, Beit al-Hikmah. A radiant gem gleaming within the crucible of the Islamic Golden Age in medieval Baghdad. Prepare to be enthralled by a narrative that spans centuries, a symphony of intellectual fervor, cultural synthesis, and the poignant echoes of a once majestic institution. Our journey embarks in the 8th century, where the visionary Caliph Harun al-Rashid, like a maestro wielding a baton, recognized the transformative power of knowledge. With a heart ablaze with curiosity and a vision for a brighter future, he initiated the creation of Beit al-Hikmah, laying the foundation for an intellectual sanctuary that would transcend geographical and cultural confines, becoming a crucible of enlightenment. As the tapestry of time unfurls, we find ourselves in the era of Harun al-Rashid's son, Caliph al-Mamun. His reign was marked not only by the inheritance of his father's throne, but by an unparalleled passion for intellectual pursuits. Under his enlightened rule, Beit al-Hikmah metamorphosed from a mere center for learning into a nexus of ideas, a cosmic library that attracted scholars and intellectuals from the far reaches of the known world. At the core of Beit al-Hikmah's grandeur was its extraordinary library, an ethereal sanctuary that transcended the limitations of time and space. Picture with me the shelves adorned with manuscripts from the great civilizations of Greece, Persia, India, and beyond. The caliphs and scholars of Beit al-Hikmah recognized the sacred duty of preserving this wealth of knowledge, ensuring the continuity of the world's cultural heritage. Now, let us direct our gaze to the unsung heroes of this intellectual saga, translators like Hanayn bin Ishaq, a Nestorian Christian scholar. Picture him navigating the labyrinthine corridors of Beit al-Hikmah, diligently translating Greek medical texts into Arabic. His efforts weren't merely a linguistic exercise, but a bridge between worlds, facilitating the integration of ancient wisdom into the Islamic realm, while celebrating the diversity of human thought, creating a symphony of ideas that resonated within the walls of this intellectual haven. Yet, our narrative is not confined to the realms of translation. Enter Al-Khwarizmi, a mathematical maestro who graced the halls of Beit al-Hikmah, Envision him, chalk in hand, introducing Indian numerals and the revolutionary concept of zero. These mathematical advancements didn't merely shape the intellectual landscape of the Islamic world. They set the stage for the global development of sciences, leaving an indelible mark on the trajectory of human progress. Now, broaden your imagination to envision the scholars at Beit al-Hikmah as polymaths, not content to dance within the narrow confines of a single discipline. They transcended disciplinary boundaries, engaging in a harmonious ballet through the realms of astronomy, medicine, philosophy, and literature, creating a kaleidoscope of ideas that transcended cultural boundaries and echoed across civilizations. The zenith of Beit al-Hikmah's intellectual glory, however, was eclipsed by the shadows of tragedy during the Mongol invasion in 1258. Picture the flames of destruction, sweeping through the once vibrant center of enlightenment, reducing the accumulated treasures of knowledge to ashes. The fall of Beit al-Hikmah marked a poignant chapter in history, a stark reminder of the transient nature of even the most profound human achievements. Yet, our tale endures. The legacy of Beit al-Hikmah reverberates through the corridors of time. Preserved works and the intellectual contributions of its scholars serve as a crucial bridge between ancient civilizations and the European Renaissance. The enduring impact of this intellectual haven continues to enrich and inspire the long and winding journey of human knowledge, transcending the boundaries of time, adversity, and the ephemeral nature of physical structures. As we approach the culmination of this epic odyssey, let Beit al-Hikmah stand not only as a symbol of intellectual exchange, but as a timeless beacon that guided humanity through the vicissitudes of time and intellectual evolution. May its story inspire us to cultivate the spirit of enlightenment, cultural pluralism, and the unwavering pursuit of wisdom in our own lives, creating a legacy that resonates through the ages, much like the enduring echo of this fabled house of wisdom.